Hi and welcome, uh, or welcome back of course. Um, I'm Sarah and I'm gonna do a bookshelf reorganization because it's very much necessary if I must say because my bookshelves are a mess right now. There are books all over the place. Like when I say all over the place, I do not mean only all over my bookshelves, I mean all over the place. Like there are books on my desk, there are two, uh, the two stacks even, like that stack and then this stack and uh, then we also have books next to my window and we also have a lot of books just randomly placed in my shit on my shelves and also books on top of my shelf which i do not want this is partly my fault but also partly my stepmom's fault because uh, she was cleaning my room and she hates when i put my books on my desk uh, so she put them just randomly in my bookshelf uh but yeah i i made the most mess most of the mess i made <laughs> But we're not gonna blame anyone, because at the end of the day, I like cleaning up my bookshelf. Like, I, I like reorganizing, reorganizing bookshelves. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And I have a little bit of an idea in my head right now that I may want to do, but I'm not sure. Because <laughs> my uh, autistic brain maybe cannot handle it, but we'll see. Uh, so what I think I want to do is do a color color co coordinated shell shelves. Uh, so like pink here, black here, a purple here, like that kind of stuff. But I'm autistic, and that means the series aren't where the series are, the authors aren't where the authors are. So it's like kind of all over the place, but also it looks very aesthetically pleasing. So that's why I want to do it. So that is probably what I'll be doing. But I may will I may and probably we'll change it later though but just for the video maybe do you want to give you a preview of the what the before looks like and then what the after looks like and i'm going to be filming it while i am reorganizing it so this is my bookshelf right now um okay now here this is the worst part yeah this shelf is literally almost empty because I just took out so many books from that shelf. Wow. Let's start with the top shelf. This is where I keep most of my Colleen Hoover books normally. Uh, like, that's that's traditional for me. Like, I keep my Colleen Hoover books at the top shelf altogether. But, uh, let's change it up a bit now. <laughs> that this shelf wait let me take out the big pen that this shelf would be my fantasy shelf but it's not color coordinated so that means we're gonna take it all apart and we'll uh, organize it the way I want it with colors forgot to mention I will also do a bookshelf tour after I finish reorganizing it mirror mirror on the wall who is the messiest of them all Right, that would be me. Uh, like, where? Why are there empty spaces everywhere? Like, I cannot understand it. Like, why are there empty spaces all over the place? Like, this series, it isn't even complete because one book is like somewhere that I don't know where. The last one, which also doesn't look decent, but is the most filled one, I guess. This is the current situation right now. And um, that is also a stack. Like, oh wow, lightning is bad. That's also a stack. Um, well, let's re reorganize it. Like, let's put it in the shelves again. I did want to mention these are not all of the books that I've read or all of the books that I own currently because I also have books at my mom's house. And I sold a lot of books recently, uh, but a lot of books will arrive soon. So uh, that means there will be I have to keep some space open, actually. I do not know if I want to or if I'm going to, but, but we will see. I actually have this little idea. So the series that I want to keep together as a series, I'll just put on these floating bookshelves because I also have those hanging on my wall. Uh, so the series that I want per se, like I want to keep as a series, like it has to be a series. 
I can also put on those floating bookshelves. I have four of them. Take this series, for instance. Um, it may look very similar, but it's not similar. Like, The Curse of the Wolf King is green, and Heart of the Raven Prince is blue. So I'm going to put those. Wait, 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 wait. Here. But the right way. <laughs> All right, now you can actually start putting the books back in. In color coordinated style. Let's let's call it that. <laughs> I feel like most of the books that I own are black or dark blue. So maybe I'll mix black and dark blue together, kind of. Like a pattern. This is what I have right now. Okay, so that is a gray spine. I know it is. But I felt like that was a good transition from going to black to like a bluish tint, hints of things. <laughs> I think what would have been the smart thing to do is like organize it in stacks at the beginning of before I even start filling up the books shelves and then just organize it that way because I thought I was over the uh, the darker shades of black <laughs> but turns out it's not like this is a black book um this is also black with red and blue so you still have more the first shelf is done um, this is the only thing that bothers me a little bit. Wait. I have no clue where to put this whatsoever. But I can put this book here. And then, then the, that doesn't fit. Oh. I have an empty space here left. So I bought, got Insurgent from my uh, floating bookshelves. And now I can put that. Put that here, and then it looks perfect. I feel like the next shelf should be white, so black and white. Um, I feel like that, that will look pretty cool. Now I actually have a place for as good as that, because I feel like gray and white are pretty similar. It still looks odd, because there is some hints of black, but it doesn't fit with black, but it also doesn't fit with white. This, this is a tough one. This is... Mm. I really don't know where else to put these books, so I just put them on the white shelf because they are grey or holographic spines, so I feel like it could, this is possible. This is a possibility. Yeah. Um, it's done. <laughs> I didn't film the last two shelves because I just wanted to focus mainly on how I wanted it to look and not on filming. So I did that and I am very um, happy with it. <laughs> not very. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's okay. It's, it looks neat. It looks nice and neat in my opinion. Like I like a little bit of a messier look and I think I succeeded in that. Uh, ex especially on the shelf because I think it really looks really good. Especially the colors, like they come out, they pop out, they pop. <laughs> and then the bottom shelf isn't fully filled, uh, so I still have space for my books. Now, let's us do a tour. I am going to start off with the top shelf. So, here we just have some random books. I know that this is not black, this is obviously red, but I thought since it had some nice black edge edges and it didn't fit on my red shelf anymore, I was like, you know what, let's just deal with it, let's just put it there. Then I put some uh, later things on here because I found out that I still had a stack of books on my, uh, next to my window, I mean. Uh, so I decided to put them here and a little bit all over the place, but it looks good, so I don't care. So Insurgents, Kinda Deep, How We Could Family, Ninth House. Haven't read that yet, actually. Mirror and Snare Lives, I hated that. Verity by Colin Hoover. My mom actually also read that, she loved it. Crave, Damsel, I haven't heard of it, like, ever, The Beautiful, Legendborn, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Prince of Souls, Bear to You, and Twine with You, Reflected in You, and Alice. This is uh, an Alice in Wonderland 
retelling, by the way. It sounds it's very interesting, but the writing style is not for me. Now, I actually could fit these two by the same author and in the same series together because they were both white as the background of the spine. So, any meaning of Pop Goes the Weasel, then we have Good Girl, Bad Blood, and Killjoy, which is a novella of this series. Restore Me, this is part of the Shatter Me series. I'm not sure which part it is, but it's some part of the Shatter Me series. Still in the Air by Holly Black. Why did I say that like that? Still in the Air by Holly Black, yeah. Um, Six Crimson Cranes. Um, I wasn't very sure because I thought this was more like an off-white color, so it didn't truly fit, but it does look pretty good on the shelf, so I, I'm just rolling with it. The Ivies, I have read two books by this author before, and I did enjoy those, so I got this one. Two Colleen Hoover books, uh, two parts of the Shatter Me series again. This is the last part, that is what I know about it. Curse of Dark and Lonely. Hearts of Fierce and Broken, A Fellowship Bold and Deadly, and As Good as Dead. By the way, I have read this whole series, but it's been a year, or more even, so I do not remember it. Maybe I have to reread it sometime and make a vlog out of it. Let me know if you would like that. And my pride and joy, the blue shelf. Okay, so Unravel Me bro uh, is kind of a uh, broken? Broken? I wouldn't say broken, I was just like ripped a little because my guinea pig ate from it. Yeah. So... Let's start with the beginning. This is more like a green color, I think, but it has a lot of color, blue, green, and orange. So I wasn't sure where to put it, so I just put it here, like, in a corner, so it wasn't too noticeable. The Bridge Kingdom, this is definitely blue, even the cover is blue. Uh, truly Devious, also, this is, like, a very bright, vibrant blue, and I really like that about it. Uh, the whole series is very vibrant in the cover colors, by the way, so, yeah. Okay, uh, it starts with, I had to literally shove that in here, in this little tiny space, because it wouldn't fit otherwise, but I did it, so I'm proud. So, the American Roommate Experiment, this is uh, part two to the Spanish Love Deception. Spanish Love Deception is on my red shelf, or pink shelf, whatever. Lucy's score of things we never got over, Song of the Forever Reigns, have uh, the second book in the series now, but it's at my mom's, The Prison Healer. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, yeah, uh, both blue books, so I was surprised, because I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, and a load of Colin Hoover books, like three here, one here, two here, and one here, that surprised me, because I didn't know Colin Hoover had, uh, like, a load of blue books, like, I'd never noticed, but apparently she has, Again, part of the Shadow Me series. This is book one, this is book two. Uh, there does come a little novella in between those, but I do not have that on this shelf here because it is a green book. So, Sarah J. Mass, Court of Frost and Starlet. I actually hated this book. I gave it two stars. Like, it was so boring. The Hazelwood. Uh, Twisted Love because it's like a bright, bright. It's like a light blue, and I like that. This stack right here. This stack doesn't really make sense. I know it does, doesn't, but I just put it there anyways. I do not know how to say it, but I feel like these colors like go over each other or something like that. Like they go like this, like from orange, it's from red to orange to pink to purple. And I think that looks really cool. So we have by Terry Murphy at the top two books. I just wanted to put them together, so I just put them together. So I kind of cheated, didn't I? But I don't care, honestly. Then we have the second book in the Truly Devious series, and I told you that it was vibrant, and it is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Sarah J. Mass, A Court of Thorns and Roses. By the way, this book, this was my pride and joy once upon a time. Like, I was addicted, I'm not kidding. Ke kidding? I'm not kidding. Like, my neurologist literally said, I think you're addicted to Harry Potter. Uh, uh, this is not a joke. This is not, I'm not jesting. This is true, a sto true story. All right, so Good Girl's Guide to Murder right there, and Slammed right there, but also by Colin Hoover, because uh, I have 14 Colin Hoover books, so you'll see that a lot. Find Me, which is a novella in the Shatter Me series, and then we have Pink Books, Anatomy is really like a brownish, like cart, like cardboard kind of color, but I don't care. Like it's pink cardboard. Let's keep it up, pink cardboard. Um, and again, Harry Potter, Bloodmarked. I haven't finished this yet. Like I, 
I uh, don't think I ever will finish it. Because I'm kind of bored reading it. And that is such a disappointment. And then we have Evercurse, which I haven't read yet. I'll go through this last shelf pretty fast because it's pretty empty. Uh, so we have The Dragon's Promise, which is a sequel to Six Crimson Cranes. The Maze Runner. Uh, I got that for free at my supermarket. And now I do not know if I want to read it. Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, Which is the second book in the actor series twisted lives which is book four in the twisted series ignite me book three in the shatter me series unite me i was just talking about this one right um so this is the novella uh one and a half and two and a half and then we have the hand on the wall which is green vibrant green guess what it's part of the truly devious series my killer vacation this is like tur- turquoise or so- is that how you pronounce it it's like a really vibrant green. Let's keep it at that. It's a very blue green color. Yeah. And yellow, yellow. The do over. Love that. Like it was very cute. Twisted Games, book two in the Twisted series. And I dropped it. Layla by, again, Colleen Hoover. And I guess that is it. So I hope you enjoyed me making this video. I am proud of myself for reorganizing this bookshelf. And it looks good, you know. But it looks kind of uh, hard to figure out where to find my books now. But it's it's fine. It's all good in my hood. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. hope you're going to watch more of me. hope you're going to enjoy watching more of me. And I'll say goodbye and see you later. So bye-bye.